And if you're joining me live, that's fantastic. You don't have to be in any special clothing. You could be in your pajamas. You can just be in something that's comfortable. Just get off your sofa and find a little bit of space and just start moving your legs. I'm gonna just talk you through what to expect as we move. So that's the most important thing. I'm gonna put some music on and we're gonna start walking. I'm gonna go straight into this so that there's no time to have second thoughts. <laughs> So if you are not able to get up from your sofa, move your bottom to the edge of the sofa and just start marching your legs with me. So when we're doing the walking, I'm just going to show you some size on. I'm going to just be lifting my knees a little bit higher than I would do if I was just doing a march on the spot. You're going to keep your shoulders up and back. Let's just think about our postures. Tummies are pulled in. And we're going to just listen to the music. We're going to try and hit that music beat. So it's a little bit faster than you would do if you were just walking out and about. And I just want you to just start just pulling your shoulders back. Let's do some rolls. So if you have had a stressful morning, if you are feeling a little bit down, then this is a great little workout to do to just lift those spirits. A lot of us have been stuck indoors. The weather has not been great. Well, especially where I am for the last few days. The sun is shining today, thank goodness, but it's cold. So let's just move our arms. Tummy are pulled in. So we want to really think about connecting our core, because our core is activated through our hip flexors that go into it. And we sit down for long periods of time. So I want you to just march those legs. I keep saying marching, but you know I mean walk, walk. <laughs> All right. And the reason why I'm getting, getting started straight away is a great warmer. So you don't need to do any warming up. You can just go straight into a walking walk workout. But just let's move our arms a little bit more. Okay. So just swing those arms. Tummies are pulled in. Our shoulders are down. Give me a smile. <laughs> Good. It's been a stressful time over the last few weeks. There's still a lot of us are still in lockdown. So we just need to find ways to energise ourselves, to lift low moods, and this is going to be a great one. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of a walking forwards and back for four beats. Five, six, up, three, up, so forwards. A little knee lift and back. Good. Find your space. Again, forwards and back. Tummies are pulled in. Always to think, I'll always keep saying about the tummies. It's the first thing that tends to go when we're doing a workout. Tummies are in. Alright, we're going to start to just walk on the spot. Here we go, so walk. Have a think about where you feel a little balance through your body. Are you pressing through evenly through your feet? I'm doing some like a little bit of a bounce with my walk today. If it's needed, just think about if you feel slightly off kilter. Try and see if you can straighten yourself up. Try and make sure we're just not doing this with your shoulders are resting back. Making sure that chin is parallel to the floor and reaching up through our bodies from the crown of your head going up. Good. All right, we're going to go into a heel do. So we're going to just flex our foot and swing our arms. Now this little workout that we're going to do do around about two and a half thousand steps. And when you do that, you're doing around about a mile. We'll do the really nice pace. But I'm going to give you some different movements to do. If you just want to walk, you walk. But we're going to just get ourselves warmed up. And we'll add a few little things in to make it a little bit more interesting. Yes. Walk. Walk. You can always do a walk. A lot of people have headphones in and you listen to podcasts and things a lot of the time. But when you go on your walk, a lot of the time you're just walking in a sort of like more of a meander. So doing something with a pace is good. Get our heart rate going up and that's good for us. Start mobilising through our joints, through our muscles, through our bodies. And a lot of muscles shorten when we sit down for long periods of time, especially our hamstrings, back to our legs. And this muscle here, which is our hip flexor, you can feel a lot of just comes around our hip areas. So moving like this is going to be good for us. It's 
get that fluid within the joint moving again. Alright, keep going, do your own. We're going to do a little bit of a step touch, we'll do some lateral work. Our body's going all directions, it's really important to do that. So we're going to go into a step touch, five, six, off you go, so step touch. Now it depends on how you want to do your work, like you can just do it with little arms like this. If you want to take it to being something a little bit more, press those elbows out. Strong, and keep those hands. Nice as well, either in a fist or flat. Good. You can make this a little bit bigger and deeper if you want to, or you can just step touch. You choose, this is going to be your workout. Yes, again. So if you are not really very fit at the moment and you just want to get back into fitness, this is going to be great for you to be able to see how you feel, how your body feels, what bits are aching, what bits you can do. Walk, so walk. And you'll see I'm just lifting my knees up a little bit more. Excellent. Breathe. So if you're watching this on a replay, do you have any comment below, so hashtag replay, it would be good to know if you've enjoyed doing the workout. And I'll know whether we should do some more of these. Alright, we're going to go into some step backs, here we go, so step back. So I'm just going to show you from the side, so I'm just stepping my foot backwards with a tap. If you want to just keep walking, you can. Good reasons for actually just testing yourself to doing this sort of thing, so our tummies are having to be pulled in to protect our backs. Our balance is shifted forwards, so we're going to have to make sure that we keep our balance. And balance is really important for all of us, all age groups. Strong arms if you can. Now I've also got some hands next to me. And those cans can actually be used for any of this workout. I'll put them in on my hands in a minute. So you can grab a little bit of a, a little bit of resistance to help with any exercise that we do. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March on the spot. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab those cans now. Keep marching his legs. Good. And walk. Add in to that resistance, makes you have to think about holding them. Shoulders go back naturally, it's a little bit like wearing a pair of heels with women. We have to reposition ourselves, and that's what you do when you hold them in your hands. And they don't have to be heavy weights to make a difference to your workout. So if you are getting back into fitness, maybe try this with something like hands. And make you feel like you've done a little bit more than just walking. All right, we're going to do two steps going to the side. Are you ready? Five, six, off we go. So two steps. Now our body's moving all directions, so I'm going to get us going in sideways as well as forwards and backwards. So we work our inner and outer thighs as well as our quads and our hamstrings. Again. If you have picked up some hands, you'll feel that is a little bit more intensity. You have to be stronger with that lift and lower. With control. Good. Again, if you just want to walk, you walk. This gives you an excuse to get moving. are in, shoulders are down, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, walk, so walk, excellent. Now I'm going to put these hands on, keep walking, the reason I'm going to do that is because we're actually going to take up the pace a little bit, it's always good to give ourselves a bit of a high tempo march. And then what we'll do is we'll bring it back down. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. So you'll hear the music, things will go up. 
We're going to pick up that beat. And you're ready. Tommy's pulled in. Find that beat. Now you'll see I'm actually pressing forward. Tommy's pulled in. Lift those knees. March it through faster. If you don't want to do this, you just march or walk at this normal pace. Excellent. If you've actually got sore joints, you don't like doing anything high impact. A strong march like this can make a big difference to your cardio. So, tummies are in. Use those arms. Pulse. Here we go. Listen to the music beat. Good. It's happy music today. Excellent. Good. We're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it down the pace. We're going to slow that music back down. Good. Excellent. You hear the pace has just gone back to where we were at the beginning. So wrap those legs. Excellent. Alright, we're actually going to do some kicking forwards and back, so just kick yourself back into the space you have a little bit more. We'll kick forwards and four, and kicking backwards. Oh, here we go, so just small kicks. Again, taking it back. What you'll find is it's finding that balance. So toes are in, kick, 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 take it back. Good. Strong arms, just pressing forwards, can you balance? Back. Is forward. I want you to just change things up like this so it's not just walking for 20 minutes. Time goes a lot quicker. So you think, oh, a 20 minute workout, really? When you know that we're over halfway already, it's good. Last second forwards. Take it back, last set. Three, four, march. Good. Bring those arms. Hopefully you can feel those endorphins are kicking in. So our endorphins are great as a really positive hormone that kicks in when you do a workout, when you get some movement going through your body. If you've been dealing with low moods, frustrations, stress, then this is actually a great way for you to help calm your mind. It's a distraction for a little while. Helps your body process stress in a better way. What happens as well when we are stressed, we hold weight, especially to our center point here. It basically wraps itself around our major organs, protects us with this lovely adipose tissue. And so sometimes you might find that this area feels quite heavy. And it's because of your hobby stress. Now if you are if you are stressed, doing some exercise where it's not too harsh for your body is good. It basically picks it up to be able to use the energy that's been stored, but not in a way that makes it shock. So it's good. All good. Alright. We're going to do a few knee lifts. Five, six, off. We go. So knee lifts can be just for that what feels comfortable for you. I'm just rotating through my arms. Now if you want to make it more of a workout, you can make it into more of a knee bicycle. But if you just want to keep it low, you can just bring that knee up. Again, it works as hip flexor, which is very good. It gets very short and stiff, that area does. You get lots of hip and joint ache. Cheers. Again, you're doing great. Keep going. Toes are in. Make it as hard as you want to. Again, you can do this with those hands. Tummies in. Rotating through like this works our obliques, our side muscles for our tummies. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Kicks up that cardio a little bit more when we do those sorts of things. Excellent. 
for those things. All right, we're going to get this to go a little bit faster again. Are you ready? Here we go up. Okay, if you want to just walk at the normal pace, you can. If not, just march with me. Nice and strong. Strong arms, 
mix in a completely different type of a, an exercise, then you're keeping it low. But do try and make sure that we're kicking that heel to our bottom. Using those joints. Yes. Again. Lovely. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and walk. We are nearly there, guys. Goodness, it's gone very fast. Let me just check how we do with our steps. Yes, we're on target. <laughs> I always like to see that we get those 2,500 in. It makes a big difference to your day, to your body, to your headspace. We've got dopamine and serotonin now kicking into our body, which are really positive hormones. I hope you enjoy just walking through and see how your body feels. All right. We're going to do a little bit of crisscross arms and then we just walk to the end. Are you ready? Five, six, here we go. So crisscross arms coming up the body and down. Strong arms. Try and keep your arms straightish. Soft elbows and down. Back up. Keep your chin parallel to the floor and down. How stiff are you in those shoulders? Can you feel it? Anything that we do to the knee stiffness is good. Last set. And down. Well done. I hope you're going to be feeling really proud of yourself. It's a great way. This is a Friday today, depending on when you're playing this. This is Friday, so we're going to be setting ourselves up for the weekend or for whatever day you're doing. Okay. So just walk. Good. We just have a check where we are at. We've done it. In fact, we've done 21 minutes. All right. I'm going to just take you into doing some stretches. I'm just going to slow the music down and quieten it down as well. All right. So. When you do a workout like this, it's always really good to make sure you elongate your muscles because you shorten in, in the muscles through your calves especially. So we're going to stretch those out. So you take yourselves, I'm going to show you sideways on, take one leg forwards, take the other leg back. Make sure your legs are parallel, your feet are parallel, and you're pressing forwards. And keep that foot on the floor as you press forwards, feeling into the, through your calf, through the back of your leg, and just leaning forwards into it. Bring that leg in, sit down onto it, lift that toe up, push your bottom back, breathe. Now deep breathing is really important, it helps us to balance ourselves. We shallow breathe when we get stressed. So take a lovely deep breath in, and out, coming up. Let's change your legs, take one leg back. Now if you need to hold onto something, a wall, to get your balance, that's absolutely fine. Pressing that heel into the floor, leaning forwards into that stretch so you can really feel it down this back leg. Chest is lifted, our tummies are pulled in. And let's bring that foot in. So if, it, if you've enjoyed the workout, do comment below. Let me know how you found it. Did you find it easy? Did you find it hard? Is it that you can see that you actually can progress yourself and do a little bit more, maybe using the hands next time? Up. It's always about progression with the exercise. If you're not exercising regularly, then actually it can be overwhelming. So if this is the first time back, then well done, you've done brilliantly. Let's just try holding a quad stretch. So you can hold on to something if you want to, find your balance. We're just going to stretch out especially this hip flexor here. Good. And if you don't get a chance to go out for a walk today or get that fresh air, this workout has been a good one for your body, for your mind as well being kind to yourself. Our bodies are made to move. The reason they ache a lot of the time, unless you've had other issues of course and injuries, 
is because they need to move in order to stop aching. We need to get that fluid going through our joints, we need our muscles moving, we can use the energy, it helps us to de-stress, it really clears our heads. Good, release. We're going to deep breath from the floor, up to the ceiling, stretching up. Let's have a really nice stretch up. See if you can find that extra centimetre in your spine. If you can, just take a lovely deep breath and just slightly go over to the right. Really stretching out through your waist. Coming back to centre, stretch the other side. Back to centre, lovely. Hands go back behind you, opening out your chest. This is a great one. I'm just going to show you. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Shoulders come down away from your ears. And this is a really good one because we lean forward all the time, whether we're on our phones, whether we're on our social media or our laptops. We sort of sit doing this. So just bring your shoulders back. It's really good for us. Opening out across that chest. Lovely. All right. So let's take one more down. Take a breath up. And then out and down. Deep breath in and up. Out and down. And then coming up, give yourselves a big clap. You are down.